Hi guys, you are watching Oxy Vlogs. I'm going for a yoga class in the mountains very soon and it's a new experience for me. I'm very excited. Uh, but before that, I have a free time, so I decided to make a video for you and answer one of your questions how to choose an area where to stay in Dubai. So today I will give you top five areas where to live in Dubai. Uh, I want to highlight that these are not the cheapest areas. I decided to choose them because uh, they offer a great value for money. So if you live there, you will have a good lifestyle and you can find an affordable apartment as well. First of all, when you start looking for an accommodation, you should consider where you're gonna work, how you're gonna get to your workplace, if there is any school for your children and how much uh, apartment cost in that area. So let's start with area number five. Uh, this area consists of Jumeirah Village Circle and Jumeirah Village Triangle. Uh, you can find an affordable apartment there. Uh, it's quite developed community. It has easy access uh, to main highways, so you will avoid traffic in the morning and in the evening. And uh, it has um, supermarket, swimming pools, um, uh, gyms, community center. So it has everything uh, required for uh, a normal lifestyle. The area number four is Dubai Silicon Oasis. It's like a city within a city. Uh, it was built and designed uh, to be uh, an authentic business and residential community that is rich in innovation, technology and convenience. It has everything required for living, schools, uh, supermarket shops, pharmacies, um, gyms, pools. Uh, it's a great area for families, but you would need a car to live there. Area number three consists of downtown and business bay. This area is great for those who like to live in a fast-paced environment at the heart of the city. There are an iconic Burj Khalifa tower, Dubai fountain and the largest shopping mall in the world, the Dubai mall. Uh, residential towers and business towers dominate there. There are no schools, so parents have to take their kids to the surrounding areas, but there are quite few nurseries and preschools organizations. And um, Dubai Water Canal has been built there across the business bay, so it's a nice area for jogging and running um, along the water. Uh, this area is still under construction. There will be a mall, a few hotels, and luxury villas and um, apartments. And the area number two is called Dubai Marina. Uh, it has remained consistently one of the best areas to live in Dubai. Uh, this is uh, one of the best neighborhoods to live and work except of parking issues. So if you decide to move there, make sure that you have a parking uh, slot in your building reserved under your name. And uh, this area is surrounded by beautiful towers, waterfront promenade. Uh, you can find activity there for everyone. If you like beach and water sports, there is a public beach just a few minutes away. It's a nice development. There's plenty of restaurants, uh, shops, and there is also a cinema there. And uh, one of the main advantages to live in this area that you don't really need a car to move around. Uh, there are two metro stations and uh, just a few uh, minutes walk away from most of the apartments and there is also a tram that can take you around. And this is quite a tourist area, so you should be ready that there will be quite a lot of people uh, during the period between October and April. The area number one is called Dubai Land. As for me, this is the best area to live in Dubai that offers uh, the best value for money. Uh, it's located just off Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road and there are several reasons to live in that area. First of all, uh, there is no traffic, there are several schools, uh, entertainment, sports, uh, pharmacies, hypermarkets, so it has everything uh, that people need for living. And uh, it's an ideal place for families and people who like to live in a quiet place away from the hustle of the city and uh, uh, from extra noise. <laughs> Uh, Dubai, uh, Dubai Land is a home for some uh, key entertainment of the city like uh, Global Village, Autodrome in Motor City, Dubai Cycle Course, Dubai Polo Equestrian Club, 
Also, they are planning to build the, the city's largest public park, as big as Hyde Park in London. And Dubai Land also is located close to Expo 2020, so Dubai Land is still under construction, and I think it will be unrecognizable like in two years. So guys, this were the top 5 areas that I personally recommend you uh, to consider when you're moving to Dubai because they offer great value for money, but you shouldn't focus only on this area. There are many other areas in Dubai that can meet your requirements and you can find the cheaper options as well, such as International City and Deira. So check out these websites, uh, compare the prices in, across different locations in Dubai and choose the best option for yourself. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like under this video, leave the comment, uh, leave the feedback in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.